Hello folks, this is your host Karen. Today, we are going to explore the possibilities of accessing web services from Oracle PL SQL. This video is a replica of the article written by Swadin on expertsexchange.com and is also available on his blogspot that is slowbyexpert.wordpress.com. Link to the article is given in the description below. As the name web services suggests, they are available on the web or on the cloud and they could be accessed to provide a certain service or utility. Web services are open standard based like XML, SOAP, HTTP, etc. We have them being used for several purposes like data exchange between applications written using different standards operating on different platform. For an example, an accounting department's billing system running on Windows Server can connect with an IT supplier's Unix server. Or, as for utility calculations like converting currency, units conversion, accessing weather forecast, etc. A basic example of a web service is made available at www.w3schools.com which converts temperature measured in Celsius units to Fahrenheit. Link to this is also available in the description. Let us first check manually if we can convert any values. Like say for example, let me give an input of 10 Celsius and let us see how it converts. Let us try clicking the invoke button. Now we get this response and this seems to be an XML response with the output as 50. Okay, let us now connect to database and to see if we can um, connect to this web server. Now Oracle database allows us to connect to such web services and use the received response in the PL SQL program units such as anonymous blocks and stored procedures. In Oracle, we have the UTL underscore HTTP package by using which we can call a web service using POST method and get a response from it. We would be using the example web service now and we shall use some value, send it through POST method using UTL underscore HTTP package to the above URL. This value should get converted to Fahrenheit and should be sent back as a response. The process of conversion will be taken care by the web service. Now we should be using the SOAP 1.2 method. Now there are several methods that are uh, described here. We would be making use of this particular post and we should be getting a response like this. Now to do this, we have to log in as an admin in Oracle, create an entry in the Oracle Access Control list or ACL and grant access to DB user to connect and resolve the service. And then as a user, we need to send the request to web service and use the response. We will use the DBMS underscore network underscore ACL admin. That's over here to create the ACL add the privilege and assign the ACL to the user. Let us execute this piece of code to do the necessary action. And once this is done, we are going to commit. And then finally, dev is my user from which I'm going to access this target uh, uh, block. So I'm going to grant execute on this particular package to dev. So once this is done, I have already logged in as dev and I have this particular uh, block. Okay, so in this block we have uh, the request response, the buffer size and the regular stuff. So we are going to connect to w3schools.com 
and we have the string request as i had already mentioned we would be using this soap1.2 um, way method to connect now once we give a request we should be getting a response from the server and uh, this response will be in the xml format so we should be converting that from raw to varchar and then making use of it and we will be extracting xml data from this club and we will be using it in our response so let us try and execute this so we have the block completed and we get a response code as 200 everything is okay and our input 10 celsius is now converted to 50 fahrenheit